You guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Rebel Clash video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at a deck that's been requested a few times, and I actually have played against this deck before. This is going to be an ADP times four weakness deck. So the whole concept of this deck is it's kind of just a counter box deck to the standard meta. Um, first of all, we're going to be trying to use Alter Creation here, which obviously will do 30 more damage, and we get taking extra prize. A lot of the time, the 30 extra damage is usually the best part about doing this attack, but taking extra prize makes it easier to win the game too. So we do 30 more damage, and then we use Uxi here. So with Uxi, we need to get Mesper and Azelf in play, um, and then we have its ability, which means all weakness for each of for each of your Pokemon is times four instead of its usual type. So that means that Spiritomb is doing times four damage instead of times two, plus the 30 damage with the ADP on top of that. So now our numbers are in higher, so we can play a bunch of basics that use one energy attacks that can take out a tag team and possibly V maxes in a single attack. So yeah, before we get the video, guys, of course, shout out to our sponsor, Cargam and TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking to pick up any P-Show codes, head over there. Of course, guys, though, if you also have any codes or cards laying around, you don't need any more. Give them to Car Cabin. They will give you some cash for for credit uh, for your unused codes that you can trade in and also any cards you want to get rid of too. Trade them in a Car Cabin and stuff. And of course, so if you're still looking for P-Show codes in general, guys, head over to Car Cabin TCG. If you're still looking to get yourself Rebel Clash pack codes, you can get them singly, lots of 50. Um, you can also pick up all the other pack codes there too, like Unbroken Barns or Team Up or Cosmic Eclipse codes. Um, and of course, if you're also looking for any specific GX or V code, or maybe the, you're trying to pick up the uh, pre-release kit codes, uh, get them over at Car Cabin TCG. If you get anything from Car Cabin, guys, use my discount code, code LDF at the checkout. It'll get you a nice 5% discount on your purchase. It supports the channel, helps stuff out too, and helps out Car Cabin TCG also. So yeah, shout out to Car Cabin, check them out, and use code LDF. So let's take a look at the uh, times four weakness deck here so there's a lot of different attackers as you can see now this is a very uh, crazy deck um and it was kind of hard to build not gonna lie um just getting all the pokemon wasn't too hard there's actually a good amount of pokemon you can play in here for each different matchup um but trying to fit in all the trainers and stuff and items was a little tricky so yeah the whole idea of the deck get the uh Uxie azelf mess in play use alter creation um sometimes doing the 30 damage is usually fine like if you can't commit to the extra prize effect doing 30 damage makes it still easy to win it's just adp has a target on its head and gives it three prizes that's why you want the extra prize so you can win the prize trade if adp gets knocked out but let's take a look at all the attackers we have to work with so we'll start things off with dragapult so dragapult even though we do have some dark types i mean the matchup is still really tricky anyways because they can easily knock out your your you know your as elves and stuff your your like trios because they all have 70 hp um, so the Dragapult matchup is still a little tough. They also now are playing hammers, so they can easily prevent you from getting Alter Creation off. So the Dragapult matchup is still tricky, but if you ever get to beat it, you can use Spiritomb against it. Um, uh, Spiritomb is also a great attacker in the late game in general because it can do so much damage. Um, and then of course we have Hoopa here, which can do a little bit more damage thanks to ADP's Alter Creation. And if, you know, Dragapult has like three or, build, three or four abilities in play, like Dedenne, Jirachi, Zigzagoon, Mewtwo, you know, you're hitting pretty hard with Hoopa. Um, now for the ADP matchup, we just have a Tapu Lele Fairy, uh, you know, ADP is only in a one of, so, you know, you only see it in one in play, so you can just side wave knock it out, um, pretty much, that's why we do have the Tapu Lele in here. Now the Pika matchup, the Toxicity matchup, and the Bolton matchup, what attackers do we have against those? Well, we have Stonjourner and Panchen. Now actually the reason I chose Stonjourner is because it's really bulky, it's got a lot of HP and guard press, thanks to Alter Creation, we'll be one-shotting Pika Roms, so that's why we are playing the Stonjourner. Plus it gets a little bit more HP thanks to guard press, so you get a 240 HP attacker against Pika that can one-shot them for a single energy. Seems good to me. Um, that's why I was Stonjourner. And uh, then also the Pancham here, which actually almost wrecked me in my ult with my ultimate Mewtwo Tyranitar deck video I did. The Pancham can use Act Tough for a single rainbow, uh, can do 40 if it has a dark. So you have to put on either a unit energy, a rainbow, and a roar energy on it. And this thing, Zach Tough, is gonna one shot a Pika. So that's why we got these for the uh, for the lightning matchup. And then we have the fire type. So now obviously it's for Zacian. You can also use it for the Aggrow matchup. Rillaboom Aggrow is a popular deck on the ladder. Trust me, I have run into plenty of Rillaboom decks like in the past week. So not only is it good against Zacian, it's also good against those decks. So we have Entei with Rally back, which we can use for counter gain. And we also have this Moltres here. And if we put a Vitality Band on Moltres, it's actually one-shotting um, those Aggrows and stuff. That's why the Moltres is in here. It's really the only like, good fire attacker I can honestly find, other than the Entei, which can work with a counter gain. But these guys both have a few tools. And then, of course, we have our grass type with Eldegoss V here. Pretty simple stuff. We got Dedenne and Stunfisk, not only for the lightnings, but we can also use Dedenne for its own Dedenne change. And believe me, I actually did use Dedenne in this video. 
Um, but yeah, we do have the Stun Fist Nadene for the Inteleon and Lapras matchups. And of course, we do have the Lake Trio, uh, which we do have Mesprit here for the Mewtwo matchup. And then we have Cryagonal for Bilcephalon. We uh, Frozen Lock them, knock them out, take two prizes. That's pretty much how we beat Bilcephalon. And we also have Lapras here for the other fire types with Hydro Pump, a Water Energy, plus 30. You can even have Vitality Band on top of that to do more damage. So yeah, that is pretty much the attackers. Uh, going to the items real quick. Uh, I just have a lot of Ball Surgeon cards, four Quick Ball, two... Uh, two comps, three great balls. I'm not playing any treasures in here, which is kind of like you probably should play it because it can get you both ADP and your uh, lake trios. Um, but that's all it can get you. And I'd rather just play more consistent searching cards. I got a great catcher, one ornery rod because we can use an attacker multiple times. Uh, three switch, obviously mainly here to move ADP out of the active after you use Ultra Creation. I got two bosses order, uh, four Cynthia, one Marnie, four research, one counter gain. Uh, counter gain works with Mesprit, works with Entei. Um, and then we got two skateboard just for the fruit treat on one of the lake trio guys if you ever start with one one vitality man for the extra damage four auroras four rainbows one unit one unit and then one water um if i were to make any other changes maybe add more like energy to be honest like this deck could probably use an extra energy or two but we already have used our rainbow energy out so you could maybe add something like a metal energy for adp you can also add another water energy if you want you could also add um you can add another unit energy because we do have more unit types than anything else you can also play the other unit energy if you want, the psychic uh, metal one and lightning. But yeah, that's it for the list. Let's try it out and see in action. All right, guys, let's get into a game with our ADP deck here. We're up against the big Pokey Nerd with what looks to be uh, a metal deck. Now, they might have metal frying pan, which then obviously we can't really use our uh, our Moltres and Entei's effectively. This could also be a uh, water deck, which we do have that Stun Fisk in the deck, which is good. Use Stun Fisk. We can also use Spirit Tomb. Those are two pretty good attackers here, so we'll have to see if they are playing a um, a water, uh, yeah, a frost moth deck. It could be Inteleon, which could be a problem. All right, let's see. What we start with here. Get the Lone Eldegoss start. We do have a uh, ADP out though, which is good. Okay, they can start with a Sobble. Playing Inteleon with something. Okay, we'll get rid of the Stone Journey because we probably don't need that. I'll take the ADP. We also have Dedene. Dedene is also an attacker we can use here. So we'll go here, get rid of the boss. We'll pass. We can't do much else with our hand. We could have played Great Ball maybe to thin. Maybe I should have played Great Ball instead of Quick Ball there. Because then I can Quick Ball for Dedene. But I don't want to lose my Ordinary Rod. So I don't know. We'll just see if they Marnie me or not. We'll see what happens here. Maybe I'll just go for the 30 damage. I don't know. I, no, we probably just want. We probably want to take this prize. Maybe it's not a good idea. I right, we'll see what they do here. There's a quick ball getting played. Game rid of a water, so they are playing some kind of water deck. It's probably just a frost moth deck. We'll see what else they have. They got a Zacian. I mean, if that's in play. That could be a very easy uh, target for uh, a fire attacker. They just do an intrepid sword, so uh, they could have retreated there. I don't know why they didn't. All right, what are we getting with this great ball? Dedene. All right, guys. Unfortunately. Looks like we have to go with the dead A change here. So we are going to lose the Ordinary Rod. We could play it. We don't need the Stone Tuner, though. So Rod, it's uh, yeah, a bit of a big loss. All right, there we go. We got an Azulf. We'll get rid of... I think we'll get rid of the Cynthia. We'll just Marty them next turn. Because they're probably just going to... Oh, we can Marty them now, actually. What the heck? Yeah, we'll just do that now. What, the heck? what am I saying? Should have maybe gotten rid of the Calm, then. No, we're fine go here put the lap house on top I'm gonna get the mess but we actually don't have room for anything that can attack so we might have the attack with the Dene or just alter creation All right, we got the alter creation off we have the as mess but now we need the Uxi and then well we cannot get the Sobble next turn with ultimate raid we can do a lot of ultimate raid damage so we're chilling I don't know why they didn't retreat into Drachi last turn all right there's the lap pass coming down there's a research Looks like we marry them into two Snom discards. Yo, that's busted. That's nice. That's really good. So yeah, our way to beat Lapras VMAX, we have to use the Stun Fisk, of course. So we just need to get the Stun Fisk and the energy. And then we have Dedene, which can attack too. We could probably... I mean, we obviously Ultimate Raid is the best idea, but I could also just attach to Dedene. Because I don't mind the ADP getting knocked out. Okay, they get rid of the Sobble with the Scoop Up Net. Touche. There's a Stellar Wish getting played. 
They found the Snom, but the problem is they are down two Moths, and they could have prized her last Frost Moth. So that's good. So we can knock him out with Ultimate, Ultimate Raid. We can also try to build up Dedenne. I don't know. We do have to take something on the board, though. Because we don't have room for Stunfisk and Uxie. That's the issue. We had to play both Eldegoss and Dedenne. So we don't have room for everything here. Alright. Let's see what we draw. There's the Uxie. Um... I mean, I have high hopes we're not going to get KO'd here. We're just going to go Cynthia. Go to research. I'm going to hold the hand. Um, ooh, that's a lot of switching cards. But actually, we do have the counter gain to Dene play. Uh, I think we do take the ultimate Rain knockout, though. Because they'll still be ahead in prizes, no matter what. We do have Stun Fisk in the deck, so that's good. We'll take our prizes here. We got to research again. That's not really what I'm looking for. Hoopa. Hoopa can actually do a decent amount of damage. But it, it's not great right now. So I want them to knock me out here because then we can go with the Dedenne um, Static Shock play and knock out this Lapras. So hopefully they do not, hopefully they knock me out. And honestly, as long as we don't see a boss's order, I'm actually going to opt to not even use another Ultimate Rage if they do pass here because I genuinely want to take a knockout with Dedenne and use a single energy and we can pull that off. So we just got to hope my boy Dedenne lives here or my we just gotta hope no marnie no our counter gain and switch are gone and two research on the bottom of the deck all right we can still manually attach to the Dene. i mean there's a chance we do survive here i mean they have to have an insane hand to knock me out yeah they don't have it okay we're chilling um we get another two prizes here which isn't good for my opponent so you just go rainbow energy and ultimate ray we could have saved the rainbow, actually, to just knock out this next turn with the uh, thing. We have a water energy we can get out of the deck. Yeah, let's thin. Let's do it. Let's build up to Denny. We could have also saved the hand and just went Stun Fist. Because we have the energy for it. I don't think we're going to lose. It looks like ADPs is going to do all the heavy lifting. I really want them to bring in this lap press. I really genuinely hope they knock me out here so we can... Uh, so that we can do some cool things with Dedenne. Because Dedenne will win us the game, right? We're doing 80 times 2 is 160 times 2 again is 320. So Dedenne quite literally is doing enough damage to one-shot the Lapras thanks to ADP. So they have to have a switch and a boss here on my Dedenne. But even if they do that, then we go Stun Fisk. Actually, you know what, guys? I think I should have held the energy. Because if I knew I was going to do Ultimate Ray there, I could just put the water on it. Held the energy... And if they do boss knock me out here, we... Yeah, okay, never mind. They got a research. They could still get a Great Catcher, though. Great Catcher and Switch. Please knock me out so I can knock out Lapras and Pride. I really want to just take an epic knockout here with Dead Dene. That's all a man wants to do. Yeah, we should have just held the energy. Because I knew it was going to Ultimate Ray. We could have put the Water Energy on the Dead Dene with Ultimate Ray. And then what we could have done is held the Rainbow. And if they knock me out, we go into the... Uh, the Stun Fist. Yeah, we should have held. That was my bad. Oh, Intrepid Sword. Okay, then. Unfortunately, it didn't look like we are going to get to use Dedenne here. Um, yeah, I'm passing. That's crazy. I know we should attack them. We can knock them out at any point with Entei or thing, but again, I want to use Dedenne, and I am going to use this opportunity to try to take advantage of it. How they not have a switch yet, bro? They haven't played a single one yet. Hopefully they get I really want them to knock out my ADP so I can win with Dedenne. Like, I don't really care about integrity. Like, I, we're going to probably win this game no matter what. The only problem is we don't have a supporter, but... Okay, I just really want to win with Dedenne. How do they not have a switching card? Please tell me I have an escape order or something, bro. No! My mans, what are you doing? Ooh, Lele could actually hit this thing pretty hard. Okay, we'll do the ultimate rain now. We're gonna stop baiting them. Yo, that Vitality Bait is so perfect because we can actually finish it off with um, Azolf here. So our wing condition is either knock this out to Dene or knock this out with Azolf. Okay, he's gonna finally retreat. Okay. Bro, I was like, I just want to use a times four. I don't want ADP to just take all my prizes, bro. That's just cheap. So we can win here with Azulf if we get energy, or we go with Dedenne, and we're going to go with the Dedenne route. 
could also try to win with Stunfisk here, but uh, we're just going to bring in the Dedene. And we are doing enough damage to KO them. Oh, we drew the Stun Fisk anyways. Yeah, we are doing enough damage here. Times four weakness. 320 on the dot. I just wanted to do the knockout with a times four attacker once, and we got to use it. ADP kind of carried the entire game there, but I don't know how my opponent didn't get a switching card for that e for that station. But that was a nice first match, showing off the power of giving the times four weakness 30 damage buff with the Uxies. All right, guys, getting into the match with the deck here. It looks like we're up against an all-fire deck. This could be a modified battle arena deck. This could also just be the pure battle arena deck in general. Uh, we do this coin flip. I'm guessing my opponent's going to let me go first, though, if they're going to be playing this deck. I wouldn't see why they wouldn't. Because I can go Volk, turn one Welder. Yep, they're making me go first. So if we can start with an ADP, then that'd be good. No ADP. Yikes. We do have Lapras. Can't use that, though. I think we're going to start with Mesprit. We can bench the Lapras. We don't have an ADP, and unfortunately, this hand won't get us one. There's a rainbow. It's not gonna cut it though. We'll bench this. We'll. I mean, we can play the unit on this Mesprit. Just to, just to put it on. I guess. Don't know if we'll ever really use this again. We'll set the pass. So yeah, no ADP there. That's fine. We did not have a search card in our hand to work with, unfortunately. But we can wait a turn, hopefully. Problem is ADP will get knocked out. But we have Lapras in the deck. Cryagonal can knock out the Volcanian, and Lapras can take out the Vol the Charizard. So technically, that's only two prizes we have to take. Uh, they do put a Burning Scarf on, which is fine. There's Victini. No Zard. Okay, that's actually good. Uh, Mesprit's gonna die here, so I think we're gonna have to retreat maybe into the Pancham here just so I don't have Mesprit get knocked out. Because we do obviously need to keep Mesprit on in play. So let's see what we draw. There's the ADP. Get rid of the Eldegoss. Could also just go in with the ADP. I don't want to take damage though. Sorry, Eldegoss, but you're gonna get cut from the party. And we can put the Vitality Band onto this. Bench the Pancham. Play the Cynthia, see what we're looking at here. Okay. We can play the switch. Into Pancham. We'll play this too, see if we can maybe get Uxie. No, we get Moltres. We can calm for Uxie here. Or Azelf. I think I'll just go calm for... Yeah, we'll get the Azelf. We'll just pass. And then next turn we can get the Uxie. They knock me out, bring in the ADP, and we pray we get the Ultra Creation off. That seems good. I don't know how long ADP will live for, but our game plan is on board thanks to Lapras here being able to knock out the Volcanian and stuff, so we should be okay. We would have had the Ultra Creation already by now had we started with ADP, but it is what it is. I guess we wouldn't have because, well, no, maybe we would have. We just needed to get an energy and another energy. Okay, there's a Break Zard. That's not going to be a Reshi Zard, which is good. I'm more scared of Reshi Zard than Break Zard. And all right, they're gonna knock me out. That's fine. Don't really care for Pancham. I guess the only problem is we lose ADP. They only have to take a couple more prizes to win. Look at that, we drew the Uxie. We can Quick Ball here, which I think I'll play. Just keep thinning the deck out. Um, I'm gonna get the Cryagonal. Just get our two water wet boys in play. If we're gonna pray we get a Rainbow Aurora or a Water here. We got one, nice. Okay, good. As long as we got that, we're Gucci. We have an escape board too, so we can actually retreat into the Lapras or Cryagonal next turn and possibly knock out this Volcanian, which seems good to me. And all right, here we go. Times four weakness activated. We got our setup going. We got, we're technically a turn behind, uh, but we're chilling. We're chilling. All we have to do is knock this out, knock this out, or we knock this out, knock this and knock this out. But ideally we want to knock this and then go this. We want to go Cryagonal next turn, Frozen lock them, and then Hydro Pump to win. So our game plan is on board. I don't think they're going to be taking a prize in my act of this turn. We could see a boss's order here. That would be a little sketch. I'm not gonna lie, a boss order would be a little scary. I would not like to see that. Or a Pokemon Catcher. Like, they could catch her one of my wet boys. We can always rob them back, but I don't wanna lose them. But then I guess ADP doesn't take damage. We can always use ADP to knock out Vict. No, we can't, never mind. We catch the Hyde Blast. All right, we live. Not bad. What do we draw? Aurora, perfect top deck. All right, we're chilling. Uh, we'll actually let the Viridian stick so we can get a water for Hydro Pump. We're just looking for a boss's order at this point. Didn't get one. So let's retreat. 
And here we go, frozen lock for the knockout. We're gonna take two prizes, and now we just gotta boss's order this up. We need to find boss here. We're getting two prizes. That's not a boss. That's also not a boss. Hopefully they bring in the break start. I doubt it though. Yeah. I mean, we actually could try to go Victini. We can rod the Kragonal back, and then we can get Victini. Oh no, yeah, we can go. What? What do I mean, Victini? I mean, we can quick ball Dedene, rod this back, and then go Dedene here. We can try to Dedene and dig for boss's order. That's a possibility. We could also just attack with Mesprit. We could also go into Spiritomb, just poke this thing until we can find a boss to knock this out. If we want to go that route, we could, which might actually be better since we. ADP didn't get knocked out. We're in a pretty good spot to pull that off. So I actually don't mind that play. I don't mind that play at all. We'll see if they have anything here, though. Again, a catcher on my one of my late boys will be scary. I also don't want Lapras to get knocked out. We have Ornate Rod in our hand, though. Maybe I could just go Cynthia and just forget the boss's order and just do the poke play. Maybe the poke play is honestly the best play here. We could also attack with Mesprit, maybe. I don't know. We should probably just poke with Spirit Tomb or something. We could use Tapu Lele too. That could do a decent amount of damage. It's got three energy on. So all we have to do is knock this out to win the game. And we have Lapras in play. Which can do a knockout. Right? Yeah. Ooh, a Marnie. This could give me the rainbow energy and the boss. It did! Oh my gosh, that is OP. Busted, busted Marnie. It looks like we just win here thanks to the Vitality Band. I'm pretty sure, unless they put like a big charm on. So we are going to be doing uh, 50 with the Vitality Band. Plus 30 is 80, 160, 320. So we're doing 320 damage. Just like when we did that did NA play there. So as you can see, 50 damage, usually the hot spot. 50, 40 damage, usually the sweet spot for these uh, for this deck. And it uh, looks like we're going to take another dub here, unless my opponent has a gust on one of my lakes but no we're just gonna see the knockout and guys that is going to be game with this deck again a nice quick double for my opponent pretty straightforward stuff again if the adp lives it's all the better so we just go aurora boss oh we had the uh viridian play forgot about that too forgot we stole the viridian and just like that that's gonna be a dub we didn't even have to play the aurora but we'll play it anyways Pretty straightforward stuff. I'm not gonna lie, uh, maybe this deck could use an Island Challenge Amulet so that ADP can uh, get a little bit more, like, I actually don't think, I don't mind Island Challenge Amulet being in this deck too. That is something I think we could definitely put in here. We have a lot of tools already, but an Island Challenge Amulet might actually be a good call in this deck. All right guys, getting another match with our times four deck. Looks like we're up against a possible Pika deck here. And that might be a little tricky, uh, cause Tag Bolt, but, so here we do. We do actually get to go first, which is pretty interesting. And we got the ADP turn one, which is good. To be honest, we might not even have to do the other Alter Creation effect, because we, if we do 30 damage, we're chilling. Okay, Toxtricity. Looks like they're playing a Toxtricity deck, which is actually a little bit better than um, Pika, I would say. Pika, again, might be a little hard to beat. Uh, we'll get rid of the, the Calm. I want to keep the thing in case we get Marnied. Play Great Ball. No, nothing? Really? Rip. Uh, not even a Lake Trio piece. That sucks. We're going to have to go research here. We're losing quite a few supporters, technically, because we have to get rid of two researches in total. But as long as nothing crazy happens, we should be good. We get the Alteration off. We knock out two Toxtricities, thanks to uh, Ston Druner. We are, I think we are going to need the Vitality Band to knock them out though I think which might make things complicated that 320 HP is pretty big we could also take out two normal Pokemon we could take out a Toxtricity and then we take out a Bolton or a Bolton Dedenne or Bolton Zero or a Bolton you know maybe we could just do that instead and just a poison jabs I don't really care if Hoopa dies I don't want to lose Hoopa because then we lose four prizes in total we probably don't want to use Tondruner right away either boss a lot of supporters down the drain and we didn't get a switch either that's unfortunate we got our Lake Trios, which is good. We didn't get a switch, though. Not great. We have a uh, Marnie, though, so that's good. We almost got all of our uh, Lake Trio things, which is not bad. So, not the worst start ever. I wish we had a switch, though. That would have been so nice. Because we're probably going to see Hoopa get knocked out here. Assuming my opponent does have 
Well, they could even go Bolt Hunt if they wanted to. They could probably just kill me with Bolt Hunt here, which I'd be fine with. The Toxtricity is what scares me, because it can one-shot ADP, especially because we had to put the Rainbow on it. Yeah, they're going to switch. Yeah, ideally, we wouldn't have wanted to play the Rainbow. Okay, they're going to Marty me. That is totally fine. As long as we don't brick here, we should be good. Which we didn't. There's Pancham. Like to see it. We also got Cynthia. And alright, just Electrify. So we really, really need to get a switch here. And all in, all in, all, ugh. in all honesty, I am very tempted to just try to manually retreat. Because I really want to get this switch. Or we just top that. Yeah, that works too. Alright, let's bench this. Put this on. It's a little early. We could get bosses ordered, I guess. We probably maybe shouldn't have done that. Uh, there's Azelf, and Aaron, here we go, Alter Creation, let the party start. Uh, we'll see if my opponent gets a KO, there's no stadium in play, we don't play any stadiums, they have to get a stadium, they also have to get a Garboder, and they have to get a switch or energy, so they might not have everything here, and we still have our Vitality Band somewhere in the deck, so we can knock him out with Pancham here, we can also two-shot with Pancham, maybe then use Cryagonal or something, I don't know, we'll see. We will see, we can also retreat the ADP, if they don't kill me here, I'm actually going to retreat into Pancham. Okay, there's Garboder. They just need a Stadium and an Electro Power now to KO me. They have a five card hand. They're gonna Marnie me again. That is fine. That hand sucked. We just need to get like Vitality Ban. Oh, we got Boss. So we're doing 70. We're only doing 280, so we can't one shot this. We could Boss order this and then this at some point. I mean, our ring condition is technically on board. We don't exactly have to take out the Toxtricity, but I'd like to. All right. They need a stadium and an electro power. Bro, they actually got it? No, okay, good, nice. I was gonna say, that would've been a little nuts. Okay, so our win condition is sort of on board here. Sort of. Okay, nice. Uh, we can swing, actually. We can swing and then finish off with act tough. And then all we have to do is Eldegoss this or this. I actually wouldn't mind that, to be honest. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just Ultimate Ray. I don't think we have the water anymore, though. Yeah. Stun Turner's in the deck. Vitality Band's there. Yeah, we can boss next turn. We could also... I really want the Bench of Zero Aura, because I'd rather use Great Catcher instead of Double Boss. Okay, Marnie... If they get a bunch of cards, they could knock me out with Bolt Hunt here. Okay, nice. We got the Stun Turner. Toxtricity number two. Alright. There's a Stadium. As long as they don't have a Pokemon Catcher, we should be good to knock this thing out. Nice. So we need to... Hmm. I don't really want to knock him out with Pancham, per se. This is the only attacker we have. We still have, I mean, we still have the Vitality Band Stone Junior play, which is still good anyway. It's not too bad. So let's get the Stone Junior now. It's just, this works out perfectly fine. And we're not going to lose either if he knocks us out, which is also pretty good. There's Vitality Band. Uh, we're going to hold it, though. I just, if we get Marnied here, that will really suck, because I really, really don't want to have this Vitality Band. We should probably attach it. Well, they, they actually can't even attack me next turn. I'm going to hold the hand, whatever. If they reset me or whatever, I'll be fine. Yeah, see, Pika and Raichu would have been goners. All right, let's see our prizes. Not good. Good. That's a good prize. That's not a bad prize. That's a good prize, too. Not bad. Okay. So we have game next turn, if my opponent doesn't knock me out and judge from the bolt on they might not have it are we just gonna walk away with another quick dub here they need to get a thunder mountain to knock me out they need to like martin martin they need a mountain do a lot of stuff to kill me we are out of research right yeah wait yeah we are okay they do have it please don't have a marnie or a reset stamp oh no the marnie and oh wait is that a boss's order Oh, no, it's not Marnie. Damn it. The Marnie. Well, I mean, we actually KO the Bolt Hunt anyways with Stan Junior, so it literally doesn't matter. Oh, there's a boss. Okay. Uh, we can boss Dedenne. We shuffle the deck, too, with the quick balls. That's good. Electro Church. Okay, safe to say they're not playing the greatest of Toxtricity decks. Still, we got to do a pretty good job of showing off this deck in this video, so I think after this game, we'll wrap it up. 
I think we did a good job. I think there definitely can be changes. We'll talk about that after. We'll, we'll just, we'll finish this game. We'll finish the game. I mean, they need to get a Zero Aura here, or an Air Balloon works too. That's fine though, we have game here. Unless they like, Crushing Hammer. But even then, we just dig with the Dene. Oh, they just are gonna knock me out. All right, well that's gonna be game then. We are just going to bring this in. If only we had the Vitality Band to knock this out. But yeah, we're just gonna go for Guard Press, and that will be it for the game against Toxicity. Very straightforward match. I wish we played Mew in here. We could probably try to find room. There's definitely some changes I think we can make to this deck, but kind of for like a base model of what we were working with, the deck played well. We won quite a few games with this. It's not a bad, not a bad thing at all. Um, so yeah, before we wrap up the video, I guess we'll uh, kind of look over what we can change about this deck. Um, I will say, I think this deck could definitely use an Island Challenge Amulet for the ADP, uh, just allowing it to have 180 HP and not give up two prizes might actually be really good. So I actually think we should put Amulet in here. I don't know what we would cut though. That's the problem. I don't know what I would take out. Um, the attackers all were good. I don't think I would cut any attackers out of the deck. Maybe the Hoopa can go. Maybe we just take the Elder Dragapult. Maybe we can just cut the Hoopa. To be fair, maybe the Hoopa can go from the deck. And we can try to throw in a Mew. Uh, other than that, the deck played pretty well. I think we uh, did a good job showcasing it. So hope you guys enjoyed today's feature video, guys, on the Times for Weakness deck. If you enjoyed, drop a like on the video, subscribe down below. How many on the road to reaching 9,000 subscribers or 8700 subs as always guys thank you thank you for all the support on the channel i will have legacy content returning to the channel very soon too i made a post on the community tab and uh judging from the amount of likes i got i'm pretty certain you guys are wanting to get some legacy content so i'm gonna definitely try to do a legacy video in the near future so keep your eye on the channel for that i'm gonna be covering the, some of the new let some of the, the, the new they're no, not new some of the legend cards we have back in the day those legend pieces they're hard to get it took me a long time to get them, but I'm definitely going to do some Legend decks, just like that Entei uh, Suicune, or Entei Raikou one that we got. No, it wasn't Entei Suicune. Yeah, for the Truth deck I did. So anyway, so I'll have the video guys on the Times 4 Weakness deck. Try it out. Have some fun with it. Body some mans, and uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys on the video.